The uncertainty surrounding the Algeria hostage crisis has sparked a rally in oil prices. U.S. crude prices went up more than 2% this week, ending up at 95 and a half a barrel. Joining us now live from Houston is Carl Larry, president of Oil Outlooks and Opinions for more analysis on the situation here. And so let me start by asking you, with the crisis in Algeria, I want to say somewhat resolved here with the recent headlines we've seen, how much longer do we see oil prices well above $100 a barrel? Well, I think it continues uh, further on, uh, it, it possibly even into the year and even higher. Right now, these tensions are not going to be resolved just because we see Algeria solved. Uh, you know, we have so many issues here still with Iran. So I think the issue now is that can these countries, you know, find some stability here in the near future? How, how high are you predicting oil prices to go in the near term here? Well, I think for WTI here in the U.S., we're probably going to see about $106. As we go uh, further with Brent, it's more than likely we see $120, $125 sometime in the near future. Let's talk about the business of oils. The crisis has triggered a significant exodus of workers from international oil companies. How big of an impact does that have on foreign companies operating in that region? Well, I mean, that's where it starts, right? It starts in, in Algeria, but it continues on into the other parts of the Middle East. We, you know, when we see other countries uh, such as Iran or, or even Saudi Arabia now that are having issues with controlling their, 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 their fundamentalists, their, their activists, uh, you know, a lot of times they've been using money to help uh, put that back down. But right now, with the slowing demand and, and the higher prices, it's really causing some troubles going forward. So not only is it the foreign workers that are there, it's the actual uh, people who live in these countries causing some issues, uh, keeping the prices high. Traders and experts like yourself throw around the word, the word geopolitical concerns all the time when we talk about oil prices. And what we mean by geopolitical concerns is really a, a, an incident or an Im event around the world that impacts oil prices. So my question to you is, what's the risk out there in terms of over the next six months? And do you expect these issues to continue on for the remainder of the year? Well, here's the issue is that we're starting up on spring again. And, you know, seeing this happen in Algeria is no coincidence. So what's going to happen over the next couple of months is very important. And from what we see, we see this growing. And unless there's some kind of a resolution uh, in the Middle East, uh, most likely with Iran, starting with Iran, uh, you know, these, these things could carry on all the way through summer and into the end of the year. But again, uh, there's really the, the risk here is not just Algeria, but a lot of these other countries, again, such as Iran. So uh, it could add a lot of premium going forward, and that's why we're looking at easily over $100 in the year and possibly a spike it, if these tensions rise to much higher. You've got changes in Venezuela, what's happening right now with the hostage situation in Africa, and also don't forget about Iran as well. In your opinion of these hot spots around the world, are there anything, is there anything else investors and oil watchers should be watching? Well, the main thing that we should be watching outside of these geopolitical events is obviously demand. We're seeing strength in China. We just saw GDP last night close to 8%, and a lot of people weren't expecting that. So as we see Asia continue to grow, as we see the Europe, uh, European Union try and rebound here, and especially the U.S., really make some strides in recovery, this is where we're going to see a, a lot more pressure on the, on, the, on the barrel of oil. We're going to see higher prices, not just for the geopolitical events, but also a recovery and demand going higher. All right.